Good afternoon and welcome to today's presentation on how to use MedGen in clinical practice. We will go through an overview of MedGen and then some searching and navigation tips. We will also summarize some ways to incorporate MedGen in the clinical genetics process. Let's start by showing you the MedGen homepage and our URL. You can also find us by Googling NIH MedGen. MedGen is a free website where you can find information about genetic phenotypes aggregated from many authoritative sources. So instead of checking if there is a gene reviews for a condition, then opening a new browser to read what OMEM has to say, and then going to clinical trials to look for relevant clinical trials for your patient, you can come to MedGen and in one page see a summary of the information each of these resources has on the condition and links to those resources. So in MedGen, you will find information on Mendelian disorders, pharmacogenetic responses, complex diseases with a genetic component, and clinical features. Each MedGen record has a disease name. The preferred name is for SNOMED CT, which is the source of disease names most electronic medical records use, so it should facilitate incorporation in clinical settings. You will also see other attributes of the disease, such as alternate names from different sources with their identifiers, again the purpose being to easily integrate MedGen in electronic medical systems in your hospital or clinic. You can see causative genes, mode of inheritance, and disease descriptions, along with the list of clinical features. You get access to patient-oriented resources, like Genetics Home Reference, GARD, and Medline Plus. And the same page provides access to actionable information, such as practice guidelines, clinicaltrials.gov, a list of genetic tests for the disease in the GTR, and the list of variants in the causative genes in CleanBar. So these are the resources you can find in MedGen. And then some more. So instead of opening a tab to check the latest publications from PubMed or searching professional guidelines for guidelines, Oh, professional societies for guidelines, you can find them all in MedGen. Okay, so now let's go over how to use MedGen. This is the MedGen homepage. There are links here to documentation that describes in detail what MedGen is and how to use it. MedGen serves as the phenotype source for submissions to CleanVar and GTR. For information on how to use it for this purpose, please look at the presentation available from this homepage. I want to point out that MedGen stores professional guidelines, and we provide the link to all guidelines from here. We currently have 455 professional guidelines that range from practice guidelines from medical professional societies like ACMG, NSGC, and NNCCN, all the way to FDA drug labels for the drugs with pharmacogenetic information. MedGen is a resource for you, and we want to be useful to you, so we welcome your feedback. And if you see we are missing a guideline, please contact us and we will add it. There is also a link to the FTP site, which has files with our data that you can download for free. You can search MedGen by entering your search term in the search box. You can use things like disease names, drug responses, genes, even OMEM numbers and HBO IDs. One feature of MedGen is that you can search for conditions by clinical feature. We draw from data from HBO and OMEM, and soon we will be adding Orphanet as well to strengthen these disease to clinical feature relationships. So if you search for arachnodactyly, the top result is the record for the clinical feature. But you also have a link at the very top of the page if you want to see all diseases that have arachnodactyly as a clinical feature. So, clicking on the clinical feature record, you get the preferred name. Whenever available, you will see an image from NAGRI's elements of morphology, a definition with the source, in this case it's HPO. Below that, you get a list of conditions with the clinical feature. Again, these come from mappings between OMEM and HPO. When you hover over the condition, you get a summary of the disease and a link that will take you to the full record for the disease. 
you can see in this example for Marfan syndrome. Okay, so in the advanced search located just below the search box, MedGen allows you to search by specifying multiple parameters like clinical features, genes, chromosomal locations, mode of inheritance, or OMEM numbers. For example, you can specify two different clinical features by selecting clinical feature in the search builder, then type a term and click the show index list to select from a set of predefined terms. You can add the gene or anything else you know about your patient and then click search. Now this is a search result page which lists the diseases that fit your parameters. This page shows you the summary of the disease, so you can see if that is the disease you are looking for before you even open a page. You also see various useful links at the bottom, a link to a list of tests in GTR for this condition, link to a list of variants on the causative genes in ClinVar, link to the gene record in NCBI gene database, link to OMEM record, and a link to gene reviews when available. Now let's look at um, what a disease record looks like in Medgen. This is the disease record for Marfan syndrome. These pages are long, so you just scroll down to see all the information, or you can use the table of contents on the right-hand side to jump to the section of interest to you. At the top, you have the disease name and synonyms, mode of inheritance, causative genes, identifiers with links to sources like OMEM and Orphanet, then you have a list of descriptions from available sources like gene reviews, OMEM, genetics home reference, HPO or human uh, phenotype ontology. Typically, medical genetic summaries and PharmGKV have definitions for pharmacogenetic phenotypes, NCI, the National Cancer Institute for Oncology Phenotypes, or any other resource with disease information we are able to access for you. You also have links to go look at the full page for the disease from the source. So you have one disease description at the top, and then if there are descriptions from other sources, they will be list listed in the additional descriptions section, along with links to those sources. So below that, you have a list of clinical features for this condition. Again, from data aggregated from OMEM and HBO. When you hover over the clinical feature, you see a description and two links, one for the full record, as you saw before for arachnodactyly, and one to get a list of diseases with the clinical feature. Now you can use this list of clinical features to guide your evaluation of your patient. Below that, you have the term hierarchy. These may come from NCBI or display for MeSH or Orphanet as labeled. Below are the professional guidelines and suggested articles. These are manually curated by our staff. Then you see a list of recent publications from PubMed categorized by etiology, diagnosis, therapy, prognosis, clinical prediction guidelines, and systematic reviews. Basically, you get a PubMed search right on the MedGen page. To supplement all this information, the right-hand side of each page provides links to even more resources based on conditions and genes. For example, you have links to genetic test registered in GTR by test methodology or a see all option, links to clinicaltrials.gov for a list of clinical trials for the condition you are researching, links to molecular resources like the OMEM gene pages and ClinVar, links to gene reviews when available and medical genetic summaries for pharmacogenetic records, links to PubMed Health for information on the disease and clinical features, links to consumer resources like CARD and GHR to educate your patient and their families, and these are just to name a few. Medgen serves as the phenotype source for GTR and ClinVar. This enables us to standardize disease names across tests from all labs, as well as standardize phenotypes in variant interpretation in ClinVar. All our data is freely available for download, as mentioned before. Because Medgen aggregates phenotype data from different sources, and preserves the source identifiers, it can be integrated in electronic medical record software 
to standardize genetic disease names in the community. Hospital systems can use NCBI's API to tailor views of um, the genetic information for their users at point of care. In the note about data updates in Medgen, Medgen processes updates from sources as they become available. Not all sources have the same schedule to release updates, so we process them when we get them, mostly in automated workflows. So in summary, you can use Medgen to research a phenotype and access all resources from one page. It can be your one-stop shop for genetic disease information. It can help suggest conditions that fit the cluster of clinical features for a patient. It provides a list of clinical features you can use to evaluate a patient for a suspected diagnosis. You can access practice guidelines for a condition as well as therapeutic recommendations for drug responses based on genotypes from various professional societies. Links to available genetic tests to confirm diagnosis, and links to ClinVar to help with variant interpretation of a test result. Links to consumer resources for the patients and families. We want to hear from you about how to be more useful, so please contact us with your feedback and any questions you may have at the email on the slide. Please note that it's Medgen underscore help. And please follow us on Twitter for updates. Thank you for your attention and enjoy Medgen. There's a couple of questions in here now. Um, is eFetch, so this is one of the utilities, is this enabled for Medgen uh, records? Uh, and I think the, the particular question has to do with whether the full, certainly you can get the summary because it's an entree, uh, but I don't know whether you can get the full XML record from Medgen or not. Yeah, and we, we can confirm that and put that in the follow-up document. So another question is, uh, do these Medgen records link to GWAS data for complex diseases? So for example, what are the significant SNPs associated with a particular disease? So right now, no, uh, Medgen does not link to GWAS data. We do link to CleanVar, which has the GWAS data there. Melissa Landrum uh, chimed in and said that uh, eFetch, in fact, is not available for Medgen, so you're not going to be able to get the full records that way for Medgen. Uh, another question is, does Medgen use an ontology like SNOMED CT? Yes, so SNOMED CT is um, what we select as our preferred names. Um, so we have the SNOMED CT preferred name as well as the identifiers, so yes. And Jennifer Lee asks, could eFetch be enabled? for uh, Medgen? Well, it, hopefully, yes. Um, so it is a matter of, um, you know, getting the resources to do it. But could it be enabled? Yes, in the future. And thank you for that suggestion. I will definitely put it on the list. OK, here's another question. Does the end of National Guidelines Clearinghouse affect the curated guidelines mentioned? that funding to support the National Guideline Clearinghouse has not been secured beyond July 16th, 2018. Right, so um, for the professional guidelines, we do have the ones um, from the clearinghouse. So the ones that are gonna be arch archived, we will have them available, but they are not our only source of guidelines. So we will have them, um, we will have guidelines from other sources as well, since they are not our only source. I'm hoping that it doesn't affect us all too much. Okay, thanks. Um, another question, is it common for hospitals, medical centers to integrate Medgen in their health records? So our part of the effort called um, open info button. So we do have every, like we do have our data available. And like I said, this is a free resource we are at NCBI. So everything we have is free. Now um, that I know of, there hasn't been any hospital that has integrated this information into their system. So if you do know of one, I would love to know about it. Uh, but we do have everything is freely available. So any hospital would be able to integrate it. And then depending on how hospitals or clinics have that information, because we know some hospitals might might have information based on HBO IDs or maybe even SNOMED CTs or Orphanet IDs or whatever it is, we do have all of that information to, to make the, the integration smooth and easy. 
Okay, thanks everybody. I don't see any question, any more questions. So let's go ahead and close the webinar. Is there anything else that you need to say, Adriana? Okay, so, okay, thanks everybody.